A high school bathroom is literally one of the top three worst places you could ever find yourself in. Like tell me why on this one specific Friday, I'm walking down the halls, headed towards the bathroom, trying to waste class time. But as soon as I walk into the bathroom, I'm met with straight chaos. I mean, first off, I straight up saw people in there playing card games, vaping, and worst, actually using the bathrooms. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna start off by talking about the different types of students I'd see in school bathrooms. First is the artist. Y'all already know this guy. He's in the bathroom solely there just to write the most outrageous things on the stalls. Like, this dude is straight up the janitor's worst nightmare. I remember walking into the bathroom one day and every urinal and stall was occupied, which in itself isn't common, but the thing is, I see a guy patiently waiting nearby a stall looking like his bladder was about to explode. I mean, bro was practically at the verge of crying. And after like 30 seconds of us waiting for one of the stalls to be open, we finally hear one of the guys occupying a stall flush. But instead of hearing the stall doors open and the guy leave, all we hear is... Like, bro finished taking a dump and decided to turn into Leonardo da Vinci. I'm telling you right now, I'm convinced these guys think they like Socrates or something. Because they'll be writing the most inspirational quotes and political messages all over the bathroom. Like, bro, we are here to let go of our bodily fluids. No one's trying to read some live, laugh, love shit, bro. And the thing is, they'll straight up create polls on the stalls with a question prompt like, who's the baddest in the school? Like, who are you, DJ Academics? And if you ask me, I'm almost 100% certain that these guys grew up to be one of two things. Criminals or politicians? Well, I guess those are both the same. And if you're curious about what the dude who was holding his pee did, he basically just started banging on the bathroom stall once he heard the dude start drawing because he was getting desperate. Fortunately though, somebody finished using the urinal and he was able to save himself. The second type of people that you see are my least favorite. These guys literally have zero shame and straight up have zero understanding of bathroom etiquette. You could literally be using the urinal and they'd feel fully comfortable going to the urinal right next to you and sparking up a conversation while meat watching you. These people need to be put down. I don't even care if that's messed up to say, bro. Their behavior is borderline psychotic. Hey, Lip Blood, is that you? Bro, I recognize those shoes from anywhere. Yo, what's good? Bro, what are you doing? Yo, W print, by the way, man. That shit bigger than mine. Hey, you trying to let me slap it? Bro, what? No, get out! The third person is the infamous hustler. We all know these guys way too well. These guys are always trying to sell you something and chase a bag in the middle of school. And I thought that we had it bad, but I've been seeing online recently that these guys are evolving. Like before they would just be selling candy, but now they're straight up running cartels and barbershops in bathrooms now. It's funny because we always hear about big companies like Google being started in a garage, but I'm willing to bet that at this rate, the next big company is going to come straight from a high school bathroom one day. Now, something else that you're sure to find in a school bathroom is a fight. From slap boxing to actual fight, you can expect to see a good performance put on. I've heard of people fighting in bathrooms and getting flung into the stalls, creating whole dents in the door, bro. Some of the people who've been in bathroom fights need to apply to become the Avengers, because I've seen the craziest MMA and wrestling moves pulled off in some of these school fights. Hey, bro thinks he's all that, but that's why I stole your girl at prom. Yo, yo I wouldn't take that. Yo, man, whatever, bro. There's a reason I skipped prom. It's because I was chilling with your mom in bed that day. Check it. Yo, is he still alive? Alright, you guys know I can't end the video without talking about the devious lick trend that plagued bathrooms for like what felt like months. And if you don't know what it was, people were basically in the bathroom stealing things like soap dispensers, signs, and mirrors, just anything you could find and calling it a devious lick. Luckily, the trend died out because if it kept going, I feel like it was just about to get worse and worse. Yo, bro, what is it you wanted to show me? Bro, this is the most devious lick of all time, bro. I'm telling you right now, this is diabolical, bro. Okay, show me, bro. What is it? You won't believe me when I say this, but I kidnapped the principal. She's in the basement right now. Wait, what? I know, right, bro? I'm telling you, no one is topping this, bro. I even posted it online and it has 2 million views. You what? If you were in school during this time, you either had one of two announcements. The first announcement kind of sounding like this. Hello, student body. We've heard of the recent devious lick trend. Anyone found partaking in this will be punished. And when I say punished, I mean we will find you and spread your cheeks until you beg for mercy. Or you had an announcement like this. Hey, guys. So we've heard of the recent devious lick trend. And I'm begging you guys to please let us have one good day and just not take anything in the bathroom today. In fact, if everything in the bathroom is still intact, we will have free ice cream day tomorrow, right? Okay, guys. So, uh, let, let's not do anything bad, please. I might lose my job. I might lose my job. Just like how I lost Susan. Why did she take the kid? Like, this whole entire trend had schools upping their security, checking backpacks, everything, just to make sure no devious leaks were being made. And honestly, I don't blame them. Look how much a hand dryer cost. I'd be mad too. Now, I can only go off my own experiences of what I've seen, but come to think of it, what goes on in a girl's bathroom? Like, the most I'm aware of is the crying mirror selfies and dancing videos they be doing in there, but no way it's not at least half as chaotic as a men's bathroom. So, all you women who watch my videos, you guys gotta let me know down below in the comments. Also, while you're at it, let me know, do girls poop or is that just a myth? Hey, you. 
Yeah, you watching this video. I got something that'll change your life, bruh. This video right here called Going to School High on Fun Dip. I know it's a crazy title. You just gotta watch it. It's funny as hell. Make sure to check it out. But anyways, peace out. Stay safe and stay lit.